Welcome back, my loves. How are everybody is doing? I hope everybody's doing great. I'm just relaxing. A few weeks after my cruise, I'm very lucky that I went on my cruise when there was nothing but tropical storms. And of course, my thoughts for all the people in the areas of Hurricane Ian. Hope everybody in Florida and Canada and the other areas are safe and hunkered down. So this is a quick thought process I have about what recently happened with Ime Udoka, Nia Long's long-term partner she's been with for over 10 years. Um, one thing that stuck in my head is the downside of workplace romances. Um, I'm not here to regurgitate what everybody else has been talking about. You can go on multiple channels and hear about that. But I think in terms of workplace romances and accountability. So for accountability, um, I'm not the one to judge anybody or anything like that. But I do think it's in poor taste to um, be in a relationship with someone at a workplace and you are in a long-term relationship or married. If you have made a covenant with a partner, it's just not a good look, <laughs> especially in this case. Um, I think workplace romances will only work if one of the other partners, you know, maybe they met at the job and one person leaves. I've seen the downside of it. I used to work with uh, at a location, I won't say the name of the organization, uh, to protect those who are not so innocent. A uh, few of my coworkers were in workplace romances, and it, it's awkward for the people that's not there. And if you are a woman working in a location and you know like the boss or somebody higher up is in a relationship with someone that's a subordinate or looking like a subordinate, um, you know, maybe they work in conjunction with them. It just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel good. If you're a woman observing that, it makes in an awkward situation. <laughs> um, and also, I think, and this is my personal opinion, that uh, Udoka is being used as an example. There's not too many Black coaches out there. I'm not saying that he was right at all. You know, he, the person he needs to correct his situation with is his long-term partner and the woman that's not being blown up, but everybody is talking about, which is his long-term or whoever he was in a relationship with. Um, is and, you know, I hope these people get their situation together. I've never been a fan of any kind of workplace romances because it, things get a little convoluted and, and people get hurt. <laughs> That's all I got to say about it. I hope that this situation gets uh, resolved out of the public eye. Uh, I send, send, you know, of course, my love and light to anyone that's been cheated on. I mean, yes, somebody that we all know, we've all know people who've been cheated on. Um, but when it comes to these workplace romances, it seems like they never have a good ending unless the person leaves and take their take that out of the workplace because it just makes it kind of difficult. Give me your thoughts down in the comments. I want to know what you got to say.